Mrs. Linda, it's the summer of 1945. She's a little over a year old. That was Jackie Reed, our next door neighbor's grandson with her in the beginning. She's walking around in the backyard of 30th Place. She used to love to ride a tricycle. She had a little red car that she would uh, ride down the driveway in. Eating was never our problem. She was always ready. That is Aunt Effie in the background. Aunt Effie loved Linda Bird for the first two years of her life as much as any little girl ever was loved. That's Jackie Reed sitting with uh, Linda. Pinafores were my favorite clothes for Linda. Place was a quiet street, partly because there was an embassy at one end of it, the Peruvian embassy, and that made it almost a dead end street. See the diapers on the line? That was before we had a dryer. She began walking when she was just one year old, and by I think that's probably. Uh, July there, which would make her about 16 months old. There she goes down toward Ellicott. This little pink snowsuit was one that uh, had belonged to uh, Sam Houston's daughter, Josepha Roxanne, and that he passed on to us. Now it's the winter of 45, 46. And Linda is approaching too. How I love the snows, because in East Texas in my childhood, snow was a great adventure. And so I've never got it, gotten over feeling like a child about snow. There she is in the driveway that separated us from Dr. Reed. That's the front of the house, 30th place. And there is Linda in a little rabbit suit, which I dearly love. Now, this is the getting into the spring of 46. That's Mary Rather in front of the Capitol. Mary went to work for us in 1941 and was with us until 1958, except for about a year out. And she was as close as family. And whenever there's a campaign, she comes back in 60 and in 64. Linda's first visit, probably, to a place that she was going to come to know very well. <laughs> Linda was always one to express her opinion, even in those days, whether it was a happy opinion or an angry one.
that is Patty Nichols. Dorothy Nichols' daughter. Linda's hair, oh, there's her daddy. Linda's hair in those days was very blonde and had little curls on the end. Uh, her dolls led a hard life. If they started out with hair, they lost it uh, fairly early in the game. Uh, here am I with Linda a little past two, her birthday's in March, and that was probably April. Spring of 46. The Magnolia Solangiana in the front, and behind the Forsythia, always the first harbinger of spring. There's a birthday party when Linda was two. The little, uh, the little Reed, Patty Nichols, Lyra Thomas. Oh, I don't know who that sad little soul is. <laughs> uh, there's Lyra Thomas. Lyra's tooting the horn. Another one of the little Reeds standing by her. Is that Hunter Minix? I think that's you that is that Mommy. I think that is Hunter. He turned out to be Linda's first beau about 11 years later. Linda always had a lot of big animals and she was forever lugging them around. I was a very careful mother about those curls. Uh, that is uh, Jean Latimer's wife. Easter egg hunt, always one of the big events in our household. There's Marjorie Jenkins in the background. Lara Thomas. There is Susan Taylor, Linda's uh, little first cousin, my brother Tony's daughter. And here we are on a sightseeing tour. Sarah had come to Washington to visit, bringing Susan. And I, I took them all to see the lovely display of tulips down close to the Potomac. There's Susan. visited at the same time. We'll see her in a minute. This is the summer of 46. A fight, not the first. There's Ruth Taylor. And a very happy little Susan. And there is Sarah. And there's Ain't Effie, always happy when she had Linda Bird close by, although you couldn't tell it, perhaps. That's good photography. If 
not very good human subjects. There's Zephyr and Linda Bird. Keeping a bow in Linda's hair was a problem. Backyard had a lot of living. This was the first time we had a serious race for a house seat. Hardy Hollers contested it. Lyndon won handily. Now, here it is, Halloween of 46. Uh, there is Linda uh, as a devil. And there is uh, Carolyn. No, Anita Louise Kellum, and then Carolyn. And there was Paul Bolton's little boy, Christie. 